Hi there, welcome back to my shop. You know, there are a lot of beautiful woods out there and I like working with pretty much all of them when I get the chance. But in my humble opinion, the most beautiful wood is burl. And maple burl is my favorite, maybe because I've only worked with maple burl. I'd like to work with some others, but this is what I have. Now, one of the problems with burls is that sometimes they're just too small or irregular in shape in some way. And that was true of this piece. This is from one piece of burl, but I had to cut it. As you can see, there's a joint there and glue the two pieces together. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. I wish it was book matched so that this would be continuous figure in here, but it's not, and I can live with that. I think it's just a beautiful piece, and I hope you'll stick around while I show you how I put this together. I took this block and put this face through the jointer, which tore it up quite a bit. So then I flipped it around, put this side through the table saw to clean that up, reversed it again, and now I've just cleaned that up using the table saw. So I should be able to glue this up. All right, there's quite a difference in thickness, but I'm going to glue these up like this, put a glue block on this side, take it to the lathe, and see when I turn this down what I can end up with. Some very pretty figure in here. All right, I've got these two pieces glued together. I've got a threaded face plate that I made I'll just put this on here. Now I'm not sure really what to expect of this. It's going to be pretty thin. I'll get some of this turned away and we'll see what happens. All right, I want to start taking this corner away. I've got it at 750 RPM. It's not shaking too badly. I'm using my 3 8 inch bowl gouge. Going to switch up to my half inch bowl gouge now. This burl is very dry and it's beating up my gouge. I think I better go sharpen this. All right, I just honed that. Let's see if it makes a difference. Yes, yes it does, much better. I've raised the speed to 1500 RPM. I'm going with my 3 8 inch bowl gouge. I want to see if I can get a little bit smoother cut here. A 
Now it's not doing it, we'll go back to the half inch. Ooh, I really didn't want to do that. Well, I guess I should have kept coming in from the outside here. Let's see if I can take care of that. That's cleaning it up a little bit. Oh, that's straightening that out nicely. I really don't want to take any more wood off of here. This is already thin enough, which means I can't put a tenon on here. If I try to put a tenon on here, that means I have to take wood off. So it's going to have to be a mortise or a recess if you prefer. And I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough. It's only this one area where it's real narrow. So I'm going to put the recess in here, see how that works out. I've already got the ring marked for it. That should be sized just fine. All right, I'm okay with that. time to sand this now. This edge along here is just about as sharp as my bowl gouge. So the first thing I'm going to do is just round that over a little bit with this sanding block. On this side there's actually a little bit of flat still there but I don't want to take any more off. It's getting small enough as it is. Then I'm going to use my two inch sanding disc on my drill. I'm going to have this running in reverse so the dust is taken away into my dust hood here and then I'll be back after this is done. I'm starting at 80 grit. You may have noticed, I don't know how well this shows up on the camera, but this edge did not glue up straight. I glued this one up straight and it's fine. I had thought about taking the other side, running it against the fence on my table saw and cutting this off, but I don't want to lose all of this and it could slip and take this off. So I'm just using my two inch sanding pad on this as well. I'll clean this up and then there's just a bit of glue showing there. I'll clean that up as well. I'm going to be using Howard Feed and Wax as a finish on this. I've got a small amount in this small container and I'm just going to use an acid brush to spread it on here. We'll see how this brings out the grain. Oh, there's some beautiful figure in this piece.
So I'm just gonna finish spreading this on here. I'll let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes then buff it out. Then I can reverse it into the chuck jaws and start turning the other side. All right, a couple of minutes with a heat gun. Got all that hot glue off of there. Now I'm just going to true this up with my half inch bowl gouge at 1000 RPM. All right, I'm going to switch to my 3 8 inch bowl gouge. Fifteen hundred RPM. I know I haven't been showing it, but it's amazing how often I have had to hone this gouge. Time to do it again. When wood is as hard and dry as this burl is, I sometimes don't sharpen my tool nearly as often as I should. It's just laziness when I don't. I want to push it through even though it's not real sharp, but it's much much wiser to just take a minute, hone it, and start again. I want to leave these flat spots on the two ends. And I'm going to sand them by hand just with strips of sandpaper like this. I'll go from 80 to 400 grit on both of those. And on the inside, I will use my drill again. It's going to be spinning in reverse while this piece spins in reverse. And I sand this out also from 80 to 400. So I'll get my air shield on and then I'm going to start sanding this. I'll show you a little bit of it, not much, then I'll be back when it's complete. And there it is. And I'm really happy with this. It's got some beautiful figure in it, as Burl generally does. The Howard Feed and Wax really made the figure pop. And you know what's the best part of this? She Who Must Be Obeyed liked it too. <laughs> and that's always important around here. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll come back next time. Between now and then, be safe in your shop. Have a great day. If you liked it, I hope you'll click the like button, let me know I'm doing something right, and share it with others. That would really help my channel if you would do that for me. And if you haven't subscribed before, I hope you'll consider doing that. And to those who have subscribed, thank you very much for your support. It means more to me than I can even begin to tell you. 
So again, I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.